Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here with our world's playthrough. Uh, at this particular point in time, Aquarius is now live with the fishing expedition, but we won't be hitting it anytime soon, unfortunately, with this playthrough. We're going to see if we can get it done at some point uh, once we get our base established and everything like that. We are in the midst of establishing said base. We are currently doing the scientist missions, and as you can see, it's telling me to acquire a marrow bulb and uh, some cobalt from underground. So we're going to hit a cave and we're going to go ahead and start uh, getting that, uh, getting those materials here on our uh, our home planet. So uh, as you can see, we're right near our base. It's an eerie, eerie night with the fog rolling through. Very, very pretty. Um, we just need to find a cave. A lot of the times these places are near caves. So, you know, here we are. So we want to make sure that we are, let's see, we got our laser, good deal. Okay, we're all set. And have we discovered all the animals on this planet? We have not. Something I always recommend doing, I don't think I've recommended it in this playthrough just yet, but I usually recommend that you try to discover all the animals on a planet. Because uh, you get a nanite bonus for doing so. Usually in excess of a thousand nanites at, uh, at one shot. So rather than getting like, you know, ten nanites for discovering an animal, yeah, if you get all eight, you get a thousand. So that's a pretty good, uh, you know, difference. Now, the marrow bulbs are usually not those rocks. They're usually f like little flower-like uh, devices like those right there. There's one there, a couple down there. Okay, so and there they are. That's, that's the marrow bulb. So that's what it's looking for. That one I can't seem to hit, because I think it's inside something. Okay, so we'll hit that. I uh, could always use more carbon. I'll go ahead and get rid of the carbon. <laughs> how much marrow bulbs do we have? We have 43, so it needs how much cobalt? It needed 30. Cobalt is our friend here. It's these guys right here. They're both in the stalactites and stal uh, stalagmites and stalactites hanging from the ceiling. This, sometimes they have a secondary element that's worth looking at, just in case. See? So you can get some silver out of it. I'll get some extra because this stuff is very, very handy to have. Yeah, quite a bit extra, I know. Yeah, we got a good amount of cobalt now, so that'll be very nice. And the silver we can just put away for a rainy day. We can always use the silver. Pretty much you can use every material you can get your hands on. This is pure ferrite with a secondary element of oxygen. Looks like, yep. No harm in having that in our inventory. There we go. I think our starship contains the silver. No, it didn't have silver on board, but we're going to hang on to it because it could come in handy, like I said, later on. All right, so there's our scientist. At this point in the recording, folks, my audio on my game and on my dialogue cut out and is really, really messed up. So unfortunately, what you're going to hear from this point forward is going to be some, uh, I'm going to be trying to do a voiceover over most of the information, which is why your screen is black right now, uh, to explain what's going on. Uh, we wanted to keep the series going because we can't re-record any of this. So in just a couple of moments, we're going to pick up where we left off, and I'm going to try to be doing a voiceover. So you'll get some blurps every now and then from the audio that, what, that would kick in every now and then, but uh, that's pretty much about it. All right, guys. Um, very apo I apologize very much for what's happened, but we wanted to keep the series going, so here we go. Alright, so there's our scientist. Here we go. So we've approached the entity. Traveler, I have prepared your blueprints, but please hurry. Something has happened. The Korvax seems changed from the happy soul they were on my departure. 
They are fighting their worry, trying to stay focused on their promise to me. So we're going to give them the marrow bulb. The Corvax leans forward, anxious for the rest of the, their materials. Give the cobalt. Corvax has completed the plans, but, Traveler, they have. My people have abandoned me. As of 104.32 seconds ago, I lost the hearing, the sight of the Corvax convergence. Ew. So we got our microprocessor uh, recipe and a large refiner, which is pretty cool. We want to do the large refiner. I'll show you why in a moment. I seek immediate reconnection. Go to this transmission tower. Enter my soul. Discover what is wrong. Help Corvax with solitude, please. Convergence entity Erg is deeply upset, claiming that they have been disconnected from the Corvax hive mind. The scientist asked me to take their personality core to a transmission tower for analysis. Remove the core. Core removed. Entity offline. So we got our blueprints, as I just talked about. We're going to be going to that transmission tower in a moment. In a moment. There's the coordinates, and it's, uh, yeah, it's about 30 minutes away. So we'll be taking our ship, of course. But before we do so, let's go ahead and make this large refiner, because this is going to be really handy. It takes five microprocessors. We only we don't have any. Uh, we've got plenty of sodium nitrate. We've got plenty of chromatic metal to be able to build this. So we're going to go ahead and build a large refiner. They're really, really cool to have because um, they don't require any fuel to work or power. So we're going to make some microprocessors first. And I'm going to make them this time. We need five of them. Uh, we could go to the uh, miner settlement and do it, but uh, we got enough uh, chromatic metal. We'll have to get more later. But you know what? Probably be a good idea for us to yeah, I think it'd be a good idea for us to go ahead and glitch out some extra chromatic metal just to play it safe. Uh, we could use this one, but you know what? Let's just leave that one there and go ahead and make a couple. Of, I have two more refiners left in my inventory of my ship, so we'll go ahead and just put them down. And as you know, we'll go ahead and put the chromatic metal from here into there. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and make the other portable refiner and put that down. And there we go. We have a thousand chromatic metal now. Excellent. So now we should be able to make our microprocessors. I'm going to put this in the ship real quick just so I can get it out of my uh, regular inventory. Uh, let's see. So we need carbon nanotubes. Uh, how much do we need? I think we needed, okay, one per. So we just need one, one, two, three. We need five of them. Four or five. There we go. And, oh, yep, go back in there. Make the microprocessors, of course. There we go. Okay, so we're all set. So now we can build our large refiner. And it always comes up backwards whenever you start to put it, so you have to rotate it around so it's facing forward. I don't know why that is. And I've stepped just far enough away from my ship to lose uh, the chromatic metal. So I've got to step that much closer. That's hilarious. I really got to get a landing pad one of these days. Okay, there we go, right there. There you go. Okay, got it. And we're almost out of sodium nitrate, too. That's okay. We don't really need it right now. So you see you get three slots in here, so you can combine things together in order to make newer items. You can not just make newer uh, different items, that is, but you can actually combine items to produce more. Uh, for an example, what we're going to do in this one is we're going to use cobalt. There we go. And when you put the cobalt in there and you add it with CC, it's a... You add it with oxygen. Let's go ahead and put the oxygen in. Put just some of it in there. You see what happens to our output. Now, let me pull that out again real quick. Let me show you something. So, you notice it's a 2 to 1 ratio. So, for every 2 cobalt, you get 1 ionized cobalt. So, you know, halves it, if you will. If we put in the oxygen, we use those two items, and it's a 2 to 5 ratio now. So, for every 2 of those units, we get 5 ionized cobalt. So, that's really quite a big jump, and it's really handy to be able to do that. So, you know, that's just an example. We can show you other examples down the road a ways. But for now, excellent to have this refiner. Again, it doesn't run on any fuel, so that's fantastic. Uh, so I think it's time, if I remember correctly, to go to our transmission tower. Um, looks like our power is doing good right now, so we're good there. So rather than walk all the way to that transmission tower, we're going to take our ship, of course. And one of these days, we'll go ahead and build a landing pad. All right, on our way. Hey. And if there's any noise in the background, my family is awake right now, so they'll be making noise every now and then. I apologize. 
All right, so we're about 10 seconds out. I have adjusted my, I have a hotkey for adjusting my power settings on my ship. So if you see it go all of a sudden, say it's uh, adjusted power for speed, that'll be great. It looks like we got a couple things here, by the way. That's, there's, there's a minor settlement right there. Um, it says to go here and look around, but we've got a couple different places around here that we can go to. Uh, we've got two minor settlements nearby, plus the transmission tower over here. So we'll be checking things out as we go. Uh, I wanted to really land at that, that minor settlement on the left, but we're going to go to the transmission tower first. This must be it. I was questioning it while I was playing because I, th I thought it was just a communications tower, but it turns out it really was a transmission tower that you normally find like a crashed ship with. Yeah, that didn't work quite right. So, okay, there we go. So we're heading this way. We're going to go ahead and lock it in. And, oh, there we go. All right. Let's go ahead and in there, and we're going to plug the Corvax mind in and get things going. We'll collect items along the way so I know that I've been to this place when we come back to it at any point in time. I'll know I've been here already. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't mean to click on him. He's agitated in pain. Yeah, whatever. Um, let's just shake his hand. We could pull back, but I'll just shake hands with him real quick. Power arcs from life form leaping from the metal joints falling straight into me. I get an overload, I get damaged, but I get an upgrade out of it. So it's like, hey, you know, whatever. That'll work out. All right, terminal online. I prepare to insert the Corvax Intelligence Core into the transmission tower. The judgment of the convergence awaits. So, your judgment. Terminal online. Connection established. Error. Diagnostic. Corvax science unit corrupted by traveler interaction. Personality overridden. Anomaly involvement detected. Solution. Quarantine Corvax Science Unit from Convergence. Observe. Analyze. Silence. Hypothesis. Sentinel. Atlas. Universal foci. Countermeasure in progress. Risk assessment. Entropic. Galactic destruction. Rebirth. It knows what's going on. Error. Atlas. Error. 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 They will. They see you. Ooh. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Okay. So we've got to return to the scientist with the judgment, and it looks like it's pretty creepy. I go back in here just to see if I can get in there and do some stuff. The terminal continues to broadcast a signal, but there is no response. Radio waves make their way across the void unanswered. Broadcast personal communicator ID. Let's see what happens. There is no reply. Okay, so we're out of there. I thought maybe I could find a crash ship anyway, but sorry, not this time. So, back to the ship. Uh, just checking my resources here. I mean, we could put that in there, that upgrade that we just got, but it's a C-class. It's really not worth it. So I'm just going to go ahead and head back. Before we do, we're going to pick up some buried tech because basically that's what we do. We can duplicate it, but it's free. It's right here. You know, no muss, no fuss. And damage machinery because sometimes you can get an upgrade out of them. And uh, let's see. All we got was nanites. Okay, but that's still, that's something. Okay. Whoop. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're on our way back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit those uh, minor settlements, like I said, because it's always good to hit, check them out. They sometimes have upgrades you can use. They sometimes have multi-tools that you can trade in and get money for. Let's get some upgrades out of them, some nanites out of them, things like that. Oh, there it is over there. Okay. So here's our first minor settlement that we're stopping at, just to see what we got. It uh, doesn't look like there's any containers around the outside edge, so we're just going to go straight in. All right. Nothing going on in here. We'll talk to the, ent the entity real quick. Sometimes you get upgrades out of them. Uh, Lifeform shows me complicated creature research data to see if I can comprehend it. I must look blank because the Lifeform instead projects these three holographic images into my visor. Okay. Uh, it says something, and the only word we get is clarify. They are clearly seeking my opinion on the intellect of my own species. I am shown a vacant-looking slug, a more advanced beaked traitor, and a member of their own electronic race. Uh, I choose the electronic life form just because, but probably the, the beaked traitor was probably a better idea. The electronic being leans forward skeptical. They scan me with a small device and shake their head. I'm given an upgrade module, and that's pretty much about it. <laughs> All right, so I don't see an upgrade module. So if they gave me one, I don't see it. Whatever. 
checking out the weapon, the multi-tool, it is useless to it. It's got an A-class upgrade in it and one supercharged slot, but it's just definitely not useful to me at this point. It's a whatever. Moving on. So I'm not going to acquire that one. Uh, we're going to check the guy behind the desk over there in this minor settlement just to see if he has anything worth our time in the components section. And, uh, you know, wiring looms, mino chamber. Uh, let's see. We do have some salvage data. We don't need exosuit upgrade charts. We already know that. So we can go ahead and get the salvage data. It's ready for the taking. We have, you know, 200 million units. So there we go. All right, we're out of here. Let's go ahead and jump on our ship. We're going to check out the other minor settlement on the way back, which should be this way. So there's the place that we just were as well, and it should be right up here. Oh, nope, there it is, right over there on our left. Good. So we'll check out this one. A lot of these places will have a similar multi-tool, but sometimes they have a different one that's worth it. So, But while we're here, there's some product over here on the edge of the platform. We're going to pick it up. Looks like we got ourselves some microprocessors. That's good. Yeah, two of them and some ammunition. Excellent. All right. First things first, let's talk to the entity real quick. Sometimes again, we can get upgrades and stuff out of them. I've interrupted an electronic life form in the middle of their work. Inquiring mask lights flash up toward me and scan me from head to foot. On their data pad, their silicon fingers flick through images of this planet's plants and creatures. My own images is added to the collection. I can only understand the Corvax and data. Their interest seems to fade and their facial lights dim. They begin to study a hologram of a lush overgrown tree. I need a way to impress. So share creature scan data, give units or give metal elements. We're going to share scan data. Number one. Come on. I know I figured it out. I must have been talking a lot more on this point. Share creature scan data. You can do it. Maybe I paused here a little long. There we go. Lifeform chitters happily and rewards me. What did it give me? Oh, it got me an upgrade. A radiation upgrade. B class. I'm not going to use it because we've already got an S class in our, on ourselves. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Might as well sell these upgrades for nanites. All right, we got a rifle in the multi-tool cabinet. B-class, got a couple of supercharged slots on it. It's got a bolt caster upgrade, a barrel ionizer, which could be useful to me. So, you know what, and since it's a B-class, I'm going to go ahead and snag it um, in its entirety. So rather than exchange it, I don't want to exchange mine, of course. I got a treaty decent multi-tool. We're going to go ahead and buy it at 2.6 million. And then we can part it out when we get to an anomaly at some point. So, nope, oh, over to the multi-tool. Yeah, that's where I wanted to go. So we'll pull out the barrel ionizer. And you know what? It did have a couple other things in there, but this will work fine because now I can get my other multi-tool. And I really re need to rename these multi-tools to make sure I got the right one. So Poem of Tongues is the name of it. Let's go ahead and put the barrel ionizer in. That'll make our weapon a little more powerful. And we're going to need it later, trust me. And... Yeah, let's let's rename it. It says Poem of Tongues, and we're just going to name it. Uh, let's make make it simple. We're just going to call it. Here we go, EP One, and that's it. Just very simple, just so we can distinguish it from the rest of the multi tools I currently have in my inventory, because I've got another one that looks exactly like it that I need to part out. All right, back to the ship. There's nothing more to do in this end of the uh, planet, so we're going to go ahead and head back to our base. up a little higher this time and get back a little quicker and while we're on our way back uh, something to note this planet has those floating islands everywhere they have made an adjustment to the game you can no longer fly through the islands some of them are you know corporeal and you could fly through them and while someone was solid and you can land on them well they're all solid now so if you try to fly through one you're gonna smash your ship up a little bit all right whoops I passed over the landing platform Got to come back. Again, I got to build my own one of these days. We're going to have to go up to the anomaly. We're probably going to do that later here. And we've landed. 
All right, let's head into the scientist. Now, I know I thought this episode was going to be completely about the scientist, but as you're going to see, that's not going to be the case here. All right. Convergence Entity Erg. Uh, his shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection, trapped inside the data core. I have no way of knowing how the Corvex has taken the encounter at the transmitter, so reinsert core. Shell reconnection in progress. And then it kicks me out, and you'll notice it has a timer now of an hour and a half. Yeah, we ain't going to be la sitting around that long anymore. So, uh, so we're going to move on to a different one. Uh, expanding the base is probably our next one. We'll go back and talk to our attendant, Nalit. Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. If I had some microprocessors, I could steal a march of fa on fate. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. The overseer asked me for microprocessors. In order to design a weapons terminal, the scientist should be able to assist with the task. We'll accept he's already assisted us with the Tenet Nalik has been helpful so far, and I have no reason to distrust him. I shall find them the microprocessors they need. Now, we do have two that we acquired, so... Uh, we're just going to go right back to the attendant here and talk to him because we've already got those microprocessors in our in inventory. We didn't have to go get any or make them, but he takes them both. I trust our new Corvax friend was helpful. They are merely the start of our merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? The overseer asks for the microprocessors so that they can finish the plans for the weapons terminal. Give the microprocessors. You have done so well, friend. I am so very happy. And we now have the plans to build a weapons terminal, chromatic metal, and pugnium, which we both have. Now, imagine this, friend. A life form displeases you. You punish it, reward it, reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. So, it is with the Sentinels and their attacks, but no more. Now we shall train the trainers. The Overseer requires me to kill Sentinels and bring back their pugnium. Except, the Sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be free of their constant harassment. Now, we've already got... Pugnium, so it's just a matter of waiting for the for it to catch up. Expanding the base, acquired Pugnium, it says at the top left. And build the weapons terminal. Okay, yeah, so we have to build the weapons terminal now that we have the Pugnium. So let's go build that. Now, I'm looking at my building here and I'm realizing it's just not quite big enough to do this, so I really need to expand my building out. So we're going to go ahead and expand it out. Going to add some flooring, of course. I should really go into the B mode, it would be easier. But let's go ahead and build it out from this point. I'm not going to build out the corner. And rather than just do a square, we're going to build it all the way out to the edge here. Got to back up a little bit. There we go. And let's put up some walls. I'm going to do a different wall this time. We're just going to do this extended, extruded timber wall too, I think is what we're calling them. And as you see me building along, I will let you know that if you haven't figured it out already, you'll notice that there's no game audio. And I'm sure some of you are going to make a comment at some point regarding that. Uh, yeah, th like I said, the audio got all messed up, and I'm having to do a voiceover on it at this point. So hopefully uh, you appreciate the work and effort that's required to make these videos. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. I think it was my computer that caused the problem. Um, I have not been shutting it down and restarting it. So I did a complete reboot just before I started re-recording this. So, yeah, there's that. But anyway, so we're going to continue with this here. There we go. I'm going to move the door over over here. All right, and let's get rid of some of these walls. We don't need that wall. We don't need the other wall. Of course, it exposes our Corvax guy a little bit, but that's okay. No big deal. Uh, let's get the roof put on. The roof is going to be the same roof we've been doing. And as we're putting that on, this is basically just going to be the rest of the episode, just so you know. It'll be me remembering what I did and recording it. And now, if this happens again, we may have to abruptly end our playthrough. So maybe we'll do it a different way or figure out something different here. Finally, good one to be mode to get this put in. There we go. All right, there we go. So now it's expanded. Let's go ahead and lay down our weapons terminal, and we'll put it over here in it, behind the Corvax. There it is. And you notice that my chromatic metal and my pugnium is not accessible. I have to get closer to my ship. It's really upsetting me at this point because, you know, everything I've got to do. So I'm going to move this over, and I'm trying to line up so that the back doesn't go through the wall. There we go. Okay, so our weapons terminal is now stationed. So you notice that the gear little popped up over my um, 
my dude over here, my court, my, my attendant. So let's talk to him. Do you have it, friend? Their flesh, their pugnium. The overseer, in something of a state of excitement, asked me for the pugnium I've gathered. So we give him the pugnium. Attendant Nalik presents me with a reward, as I knew they would. Friend, there is another matter. I gave you the means to create a weapons terminal, did I not? Yet I see no Vikeen in attendance. Does my help mean so little to you that you would tarry so? You must recruit an armorer before we can proceed. The overseer requires me to build a weapons terminal, which we did, and recruit a Vikeen armorer from my base. Except, Splendid. I do enjoy our Vikeen friends. We shall all live in harmony, I think. Okay. So we're off to getting a Viking armor. Now, um, it's going to tell us in just a moment where we're going. Give it a moment. Iron armor. Oh, we're still expanding the base. Right. we got to go over here. Weapons research. Nope. Up a couple more. There you go. Right there. So, give it a moment. Outside the local system. So we're going to have to go into space and get there by ship. We could go to a Viking system on our own, but do it this way. Follow the yellow brick road, my friends. All right, so, but while we're up here, let's go into hyperspace. We're going to go ahead and take care of this real quick here. And we'll get our Viking armor. There he is. That's the system. There we go, right there. It says it's a pirate system, which is really, really odd. And you'll see that in a moment. So, really stinks that the audio got messed up, guys. I'm really apologizing. It'd be nice to be able to hear hyperspace and, you know, all the stuff going on. But at least we have the video. Because, unfortunately, I can't re-record things. I have to do it this way. So, hopefully this doesn't happen again. And hopefully I'll just continue to reboot my computer every time I want to make a new video. And that will work things out. So, here we are in the new system. Now, again, it said it was a pirate system. And it looks like it was already been discovered by somebody, too. But you'll notice as I head towards the space station, that is not a pirate space station. So I think for the sake of the Artemis storyline, I think it does this. So, and puts the regular base in place of it. And I think if we ever came back to the system, it would be a pirate system. So. Nice colors in this place, though. They got the purple, blue, and white. It's kind of really nice. Uh, medium supply. Good, good. Gentle conflict level, which is really weird for a pirate system, right? Very strange. All right. So there's our armor up there on the platform. Let's going to just jet up there rather than taking the stairs. And here we go. Your Gek servant told me you were coming, interloper. This is guarded. Gao, uh, it is an honor to meet one whose bloodlust exceeds even my own. Gra, we shall kill together for the glory of Herc and our ancestors. Guard Gawa, that's how I decided to pronounce it. Gawa, G-A-O-A, -A. Gawa. Okay. A great sentinel hunt begins. Come, let us inhale the requisite Gra Gra. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't do drugs. The Viking is old. It is not their skin or appearance that suggests this. These beings are too alien, too unreal for me to make a judgment on that basis. No, it is the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. They do not posture. When they smile at me and tell me it is an honor for us to meet, I believe them. He's stretching. I like that. Guard Ga Gawa. Ga Guard Gawa, I'll get it right, promises to come to my world and make use of my new weapons terminal. Except, Gra, I will rejoice in the blood harvest, but tell me, do I need to pay for my own transit? <laughs> All right, so while we're here, we're in, a, we're in a different space station. We haven't been here before. Let's check out some of these terminals and check out some of the upgrades that they might have. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sell off the ones that we had. Okay, and that gives us a little more nanites. That's good. Bye. Let's see what we got here. I don't remember what I got here, if anything. Photon cannon module, S-Class. That actually would be very handy to get. The A-Class launch thrusters is all right, but let's just stick to... Looking for S-Class ones from now on. Now, we want to put it down here by the uh, cannon, which is known as a Sentinel cannon, and it will upgrade that cannon a little bit, give us a little more juice from the weapons on that. We have a supercharged slot over there that confused me, so I'm checking it out, and I was going to move my Sentinel cannon over, but I didn't realize that my Sentinel cannon was actually already in a supercharged slot. So, we're just going to leave it there, but 
Why we never put our pulse engine in a supercharged slot, I have no idea. That's the luminance engine. So I'm going to move the move this over. That is the economy scanner up to the top. I'm going to put the pulse engine, luminance engine, over there in a supercharged slot along with its upgrade over right next to it. So that should give us a little more maneuverability. And plus the pulse engine will be a little more efficient and will boost it just a little bit in speed. At least that's what I found to be the case, especially on speed runs. All right, let's check out the other terminals. While we're at it, we are going to take a look at the multi-tool cabinets. Uh, rifle, C-Class, and it has nothing that is worth our time. Uh, we're going to check out the technology merchant for the multi-tool. Uh, let's see what he's got. And basically nothing that's worth our time. I wish I would have grabbed the plasma launcher module. That would have been handy. I found that that's been a very handy tool to have. Uh, let's see, so exosuit upgrade terminal, we're just going to go ahead and upgrade one time. Uh, rather than doing the top technology, we're going to put it in the cargo area, and I'm just going to keep adding into that. So I purchased this one even though I've got some in my inventory that I can use. Now for some reason it gets locked on that, and I'm trying to get to the merchant, but it keeps pulling me over to this. Get to the merchant, there we go, okay. Technology merchant Katara offers the following. Let's see what we got. We got an S-Class life support module, so we're going to go ahead and grab that, I think. The A-Class movement module is okay, but I really want to start looking for more S-Class things. Uh, let's see. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Right. Okay. All right. So that'll give our life support a little bit of a boost. The tanks and the solar power, panel power, so it ought to help me out a little bit. Okay. So that's that. Um, let's check out the other multi-tool terminal real fast. Ah, 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 get back over there. There we go. And this one was also a piece of crap. So we're going to leave. No reason to stay. Okay. Everything in inventory is ready to go. We could probably turn that into uh, some sodium later on the marrow bulb. But we'll probably hang on to it anyway. Um, you know what? We don't have to take our ship. We can just take the portal over here. So let's just use the portal and get back to our base that way. That way we're not using fuel. Alpha base, right there. Click. You can do it. There you go. Warp. On our way. Now this episode's a little bit longer than most because we're going to be getting into a little bit of a scuffle at the end. <laughs> All right. And right about now. And now. Now. Anytime now. We'll pop out of, high, out of this portal. Unless we're trapped like Artemis. Wow, this is a long portal travel here. I think I could have traveled there on foot faster. There we go. Finally. Good grief. Back to Arjo. Yeah, one of these days we're going to rename the system, I think. And somehow our ship is lodged in the middle of our building. Um, let's just say no. Let's go over here and pull... We really need a landing pad for our place here. Um, yeah, we don't have the landing pad um, tech yet. Uh, yeah, we're going to make a special trip for that. But for now, get your butt up there. There we go. Well, the starship over. All right, so now it's out of the middle of my building. Let's go back to my building and uh, get some work done. Uh, no, we don't need to talk to either one of them. There we go. The Viking over here on the, around the side. Guard Gawa. These facilities are glorious, but know that we Viking exterminate worlds that show even the merest hint of weapons production. Consider yourself lucky that I'm your friend. Grahahaha. Violence must be ended. This is the way of the Drindarg. This is the way of Herc. When murder is gone, the last weapon fired will be at the Viking ourselves, having served our holy purpose. Okay. As a gesture of peace, the armorer offers me a piece of exosuit technology. They are keen to demonstrate they are more than a simple warrior. Except the gift, of course. Grah, wear it with pride. Now, before we can begin our work together, there is something we must deal with. Viking High Command would not permit me to reside here and ignore my purpose. I have discovered a weapons factory nearby, and to sabotage it would demonstrate our worth. While you are there, perhaps you may also learn something useful for yourself. I learned that the Viking believed that no other species should be able to hold weapons, that after the atrocities committed by the Gek, only the Viking should be trusted with arms. 
The armor gives me the location of a nearby weapons factory, claiming it is operating illegally. If I go there and shut down production, I may be able to extract a valuable blueprint. Except... Gra, go with honor, but be wary. The Eye of the Sentinels will be upon the facility. He's right about that. So we got a movement module, C-Class, but it's not really worth our time. To put that in, it won't do anything for us, really. So, But I'll hang on to it. We'll, we'll just sell it to uh, nanites later on. In the meantime... Um, let's go ahead and head over to our ship. Yeah, I'm figuring it out, don't worry. Okay, off we go. Should I do sound effects too? Do things like that. Diverting power to weapons, diverting power to engines. Great, now we got dogs barking outside, just what I need. Alright, looks like this is the building we're heading towards, and it looks just like a factory. It's got little smokestacks and everything like that, so. Alright, we're going to make sure we have enough ammunition. We do. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and exit. And you'll notice there are sentinels floating around, and the only way to get into one of these facilities is shooting your way in. Mining laser will not work. But while we're here, we're going to grab some items. I didn't find anything there. And in this box we found a microprocessor. Very handy. All right, and we're going to leave the uh, first aid kit for another time. Okay, and we're going to open up the box outside the front door so we know we've been here before. All right, let's shoot it. And that's the only way in. You can only use a weapon to get into these places. Oh, man, look at all the little red dots that just appeared. Let me in. There we go. In we go. Now, the great thing about being inside a facility is for some reason the Sentinels can't see you. Even when you're standing in the doorway like this, they still can't see you. See? He can't see me. We can shoot him. We can take him out. And we're going to go ahead and take out that and grab the green barrel while we're at it. And that's it. You see, they're still searching for me. Even this one. We'll just get some Pugnium from him and some ammunition usually. That's it. So I'm not going to go ahead and take anybody else out. I'm going to go ahead and head in and uh, get some work done. I just wanted to get one of them. All right. So let's see. we got some nanites over here. We'll grab that from the side wall. Uh, let's see. And we can leave the life support unit over there for another time. Oh, credits. Let's get the credits. And great. I just walked through the middle of a table. Love it. All right. Let's go to the terminal and see what we can do now that the Sentinels have disabled. Production status 95% efficiency. The factory was indeed engaged in the production of illegal weaponry, just as a Viking claimed. I should shut down the production and see what can be gleaned from their systems. Override production. New blueprint accepted. Beginning fabrication. I override the production line, substituting the blueprints for something more harmless. The factory will produce, the factory will produce light bulbs, at least for now. I take a copy of the weapon blueprint previously in production, although I cannot understand it. Leave. And we're done. So let's go ahead and head back to the armor. You can do it. So you notice that the sentinels are out there. They no longer are interested in looking at me. So we've got regular sentinels, the healing sentinels, and you'll see the triangular unit in the background there is actually a call-in unit. Summoner, as we call them. And yeah, when you're fighting them, summoner is one of the first ones you want to take out. Healers and summoners. Okay. Back to the ship. And we're going to head back to our base. Over that way. Okay. And off we go. Ten seconds to get there. Long ball base alpha. I do that like in every, every type of playthrough. I always name it alpha. I don't know why. Just one of those things. Yep. Gotta make a landing pad for myself. I keep saying that. All right, so we've landed. Let's go ahead and head in. Okay. You have shut down their production, Interloper. Perhaps we should... You have shut down their production. Perhaps we should make a Viking of you yet. Excellent work, Interloper. Gra, did you obtain any technology of our own? Here, I will decrypt it for you. We shall continue your training. Weapons are nothing without usage, without the glory of righteous war. Okay. Look at a little bit of a warmonger there, isn't he? And that one I leave on the screen for an extended period. 
All right, so we get an economy scanner out of it, at least the blueprint for one. We've already got one in our ship, so we don't need to make one. So that's good to, know, to have it, though. Steal yourself, interloper. Pirates have discovered our world. Gra, they will provide practice for your weapons. Okay. Attack, Gra. Attack. Burn their hives of villainy and sin. Let them know that this is no one's sky but ours. As they tell me of the pirates, the armor begins to shake. I have not seen such passion, such hatred expressed in them for any other being. The armor alerts me to the presence of pirate ships orbiting the world, asking me to go and fight them. Agree. Gra, fight well, interloper. Destroy them before they draw more sentinel attention to our homeworld. Okay. So we're going to head up to there and start fighting them. Um, good thing we upgraded our photon cannon. So we're headed back to our ship. I'm not sure why my hesitation was occurring here. And we're in our ship and we're heading out. So all we need to do is go into space. And we should be given a... Yep, there's the target. Not on a planet, of course. It's going to be straight up. Out in space. There it is. So we'll head towards it right now. And boom, we're already there, and there's our... We got a, a derelict freighter there, too, a busted-up one. This is one that uh, shows up every now and then, and it's mostly associated with pirates. So taking this guy out. Weapons aren't powerful, but you notice it's taking a while for them to overheat, and that's a good thing. So here's our second pirate. Okay, and that's it. So while we're here, we're going to head over to the derelict freighter over here. These two pods, one on either side of the ship, contain gold. So take them out. But it will call in pirates, just so you know. Okay, that one's dead. We're gone. Journey accomplishment is because I destroyed five ships. All right, and that one's gone too, so we got all the gold from it. Got a few couple hundred of it. That's pretty good. And we got a pirate that has just popped out of it. Pulse drive. We're going to take them out. And gone. And it seems that only one appeared. We've got a tri pirate transponder out of it, too. All right. So what we're going to do is, rather than heading back down, we're going to head to the anomaly. I just got to get far enough away from this broken ship in order to be able to pull it in. There it is. All right, and we're going to head in there, and the purpose of going in here is so we can acquire blueprints. We really need to make our own landing pad. It's time, and more than time. That's not one of the uh, recipes you're going to get from the playthrough, so you might as well get it on your own. That was me stretching. Okay, here we go. So we could get some upgrades from the Quicksilver vendor at this point, things that I've acquired in my other plays, but that's one thing I'm probably going to hold off on. All right. So up here and to the right, and when you enter in the upgrades area, go to the left-hand side. It's the middle terminal. construction research station just scan through until you get to the technology modules and there's our landing pad costing 10 salvage data so i'm going to go ahead and grab it grab it there we go there's, and you can go back in here and check other things out and there is some other technology that is actually worth our time uh, you got your uh, geo bays and stuff like that that you can get but we'll get them later we'll build them later lots of other stuff decorative items and things like that that you can get here for building bases with uh, but this one is your industrial modules, and uh, I always like to get this cloaking, electrical cloaking unit, because I really hate seeing all those blue things all over the place. Of course, in this episode, I forget to put it down, but that's okay. We'll put it down later. Okay, and while we're here, why don't we head up here, up the other slope towards where the portal is, and we're going to hit the multi-tool uh, deconstruction terminal. Okay, let's go ahead and switch multi-tools. Thank heavens I renamed it. So we're going to keep the 
cheap ones. This one is a B class and really doesn't have anything in it right now to uninstall that's worth our time. So go into the multi tool salvaging and we're only getting 100,000 for it, but still, you know, it's, it's worth deconstructing. We'll get some upgrades out of it that we can sell as well for nanites. So let's switch to a different multi tool. Um, this is our original B class one, and we're going to go ahead and get rid of it too. There's really no reason to keep this other one. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that one. Yep, only 80,000 for this one. Okay, so that's gone. Let's go back in one more time. This is the multi-tool that we use, EP1. Okay, so we have three multi-tools left. The Light Blaster, EP1, and then the Sentinel one, a Poem of Tongues. So let's go ahead and get rid of Poem of Tongues. C-Class, and there's really nothing more to uninstall from it, so we're going to go ahead and decommission it. And we get a lot more for this one, 430,000. And there we go. All right, always keep one extra multi-tool on you, just in case. Um, uh, spoiler alert for that is that when you get to the center of the galaxy, like you're going to be working towards at some point, and this one I'm keeping just to have it, just in case. Um, Light Blaster, as it's called. And it's pink. It's really interesting. Anyway, um, switch back to my other multi-tool, and we're going to go and get rid of some of these upgrades that we ended up getting. Um, hang on to it because when you get to the center of the galaxy and you actually go through your ship, your exosuit, and your multi-tool are all going to get damaged severely. All the upgrades, everything in it was going to get damaged. You have to repair everything. So have another multi-tool you can switch over to before you go to the center. So we're going to Iteration Ares. Ares has another purpose. So you, some of you know that you can transmit milestone data and you're going to get some nanites. I just got uh, 250 right there. That's extra. Nice. But if you look closely, number three is purchase upgrades. And if you go to that, you can actually sell the upgrades you've acquired. I was going to keep some of these, but I've decided the only one I'm going to keep is the weapons shard. Even though it's worth something, it's worth 953 because I have two of them. But we're going to get rid of the rest. You know, the mining beam module, the scanning module. Yeah, let's get rid of those. And we'll use those weapon shards. We do want those. And you can buy some from him too, but he's only got as high as B class, and that's it. These are just minor upgrades in case you need something real fast. So we have some room to install our upgrades, so let's go ahead in there, and we're going to grab the first weapons upgrade. Drop that in. You see our damage is at 1520. Brings it up to 1600. That's not a big jump. The second one drops in, and it brings it up to 2124. So that's got 18% fire rate. The other one only has three. So, but still, it's it's more than what we had. So, that's got us give us some more damage for later. So that'll come in handy. Okay, we'll get some more later. Let's go ahead and head out. We're done here. So it's time to finish up our weapons. Uh, term uh, weapons uh, armor master our armor masters uh, uh, missions. That's another reason why it, this one's going to run over an hour is because of the fact that we want to get all this done. Let's see what happens here. So we're going to head back to the base right there. Boing. And like I said about these Sentinel ships, they're really fast. There we go. Whoa, easy, easy, easy. And this landing is going to make you sick. Ugh. Good grief, even my eyes still went wonky the second time around. Okay, out we go. So before we hit them up, though, we are going to build our landing pad because we're tired of our ship appearing inside of our building, right? So I usually go up top to build it, but as you can see, if we go into our inventory, nope, wrong menu. There we go. You see, there it is. It requires 10 metal plates and two microprocessors. We have one, but rather than building them ourselves, let's use the purpose, the whole purpose of being here at the miner settlement is to go into the terminal over here, the trade terminal, and buy what we need. Uh, there we go. There's a, we've got to get 10 of those metal plates. There we go. There's 10. And let's just take this ferrite dust anyway. It'll rebuild over time. And we also need two microprocessors. There they are. Uh, we just need one, though. I was going to increase the two, and then I realized I know I only need one. There we go. Okay. 
We don't really need anything else for now. Let's go ahead and exit. And again, I'm going to head to the top of the building. Okay, into our menu, landing pad. We have all the, everything we need to build it. We're probably going to put it right there, but let's let's go into B and you want to line up the exit with your entrance on your building. And I'm also going to, if you see that there is a, a call-in terminal on your landing pad, I'm going to line it up so that the call-in terminal is down here where we are. I've got to keep rotating it to get it where it is because it's kind of hard to see it because of the menu there. There it is. Oop, back. Nope, right there. Okay, so it's at the top, and there's a purpose for that. See the terminal is over there? And if I call in my ship now, my ship will land here now. And when it gets oriented, when it's done landing, it's facing the building. So anytime I exit my ship, I'll get out on the right-hand side of the ship facing the building. I just walk right in. So that's, how, that's why I do that. Okay, so we're done here. Uh, let's see. So let's go back to, yeah, the weapons master. Where are you going? I don't know where you're wandering to. There we go. Guard Gawa. Is it done, interloper? Have you purged these vile beings from our air? Confirm. Gra, well fought, interloper. To be young, to kill again. Gra, how I envy you. Interloper, there's both good and bad news. Some of the pirates appear to have fled your wrath, but this merely delays their righteous extermination. Hunt them down, interrogate them for potential weapons technology, and then consign them to the Great Abyss. Gra, guard Gawa, as clearly possessed by the thrill of the hunt, but this energy cannot disguise the fact they appear to be weakening. Has residing here in my base caused them to become ill? Hmm. The armorer wishes for me to find one of the escaped pirates and take any technology they might possess. Except. This is your prize, interloper. Weapons, technology, and a pirate to do with as you will. Gra, make our ancestors proud. Okie dokie. I don't know about our ancestors, but whatever. I don't think they'd be very proud of me doing this kind of stuff. But whatever. 16 minutes away, so let's take our taxi. And lift. And off we go. Again, be careful flying through these islands. You will run right into them and damage your ship. All right. It's an approximate location, but as you can see, it could be one of two different places. I'm thinking it's this one right here. This minor settlement is going to be the one. It's the, it just took us to the same two that we were at before. Okay, out we go. I don't think we gathered up the materials here. We're scanning. Okay, it is this building. All right, good. And while we're here, let's check these, because I thought I grabbed them earlier. There we go. Okay, health is a maximum. All right, good. All right, in we go. Remember this guy? We talked to him earlier. You, life form, savior. Corvax was their slave. Corvax forced to operate pirate frequencies, but no more. Corvax hopes life form believes their virtue. Gift of technology in exchange for silence. If life form attempts to report Corvax to authorities, Corvax will take lethal countermeasures. The life form offers up their advanced survival data. They claim to have been an innocent forced to life of piracy against their will. The threat against my life does little to support their claim of innocence, but I have what I came for. Except. I have the advanced survival blueprints and leave. I take the advanced one. There is nothing more to be done here. Okay. Off we go. Back to the armor. Okay. One of these days I gotta get into that water and start scanning some animals. It's a good idea to scan as many creatures as you can while you're here. There we go. Back to the terminal. It is done, then. Have you made them suffer? The armor begins to cough. They do not appear to be in good health. I'm going to confirm. I shall decrypt their data, Interloper. May it bring you glory. But I... I have another task for you. It is almost at the end. So we get a starship battery, star shield battery, and unstable plasma, which is uh, ammunition for plasma launchers. There is structure on this world, a de depot of little consequence, but to the Sentinels, grah, they will defend it to the last. 
Attack it, draw the ire of the sentinels, then our hunt can begin. While you are away, I shall create a powerful upgrade so that your weapon is fit for our great war. Guard Gawa appears to have declined even further. This longing for the hunt seems to be the only thing keeping them alive. The Viking asks that I destroy a depot so that the sentinels will seek us out. They promise to work on some sort of weapon upgrade while I'm away. Accept. Go, I will prepare your weapon, interloper. You can you can rely on my work. Um we may do something here first. I think this is the spot at which I do it. So we get our plasma blueprint. That's good to have. And it's taking us over that way. So the facility is about 15 minutes away running. But you know what? Let's do something in preemptive uh, fashion. We're going to go to a Viking system real quick. So you'll notice that we have a pirate system. Bottom right corner of each one of these RNG looking things tells you what the system is, right? And you'll notice that the one down below has a Viking emblem on it. So that Opkin Ed Eden is where we're going to head out to. So we're going to go there. We've got to get an item. It's called Viking Daggers. We need two of them. Now, this, I said at first during my original recording, there's two places to get them. In actuality, you can find them on a planet by searching caches and stuff like that. Um, and it's, it's a very low percentage rate that you're going to find these things. The chances are pretty slim. The best place to find them is a landing platform on any planet in a Viking system. Just go to the landing platform, talk to one of the pilots. Most of the pilots will carry Viking daggers, and you can usually get two of them at any given time, no matter the economy. So like if I go into this trade terminal here, you'll see there's no Viking daggers. And I'm going to show you the second thing here. We're in a Viking system again, but we're going to wait around for some ships to land. So I'll take that moment just to stretch a little bit. Just sitting and talking to a microphone takes a while, you know, especially when you're just watching a video and you're trying to remember what you said. <laughs> so what you're waiting for is every star system has a... Uh, most star systems have a space station like this, and the space station has ships that arrive in, you know, for NPCs. They arrive in waves, usually three to four ships at a time. Usually four. So there's our first contestant. And it looks like he's in a fighter. So let's go ahead and check him out. So the purpose of doing so is I wanted to show you something. I thought I could get him from the people on the station when they landed. But it turns out the answer to that is when we get in here, you'll see here, displeased, blah, 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 blah. We're not going to go through the dialogue. You notice he doesn't carry any. Sometimes they might, but this time, no. And I'm realizing that at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our ship here, and we're going to land at the closest planet, as long as it's habitable. If it's a lifeless orb or something like that, some kind of, you know, no atmosphere style planet, and there's no life on it, you're not going to find anything there. But this planet in front of us happens to be an icy planet. So just aim for the planet. And as you boost into the planet, pulse drive into the planet, you're going to get that tone right about... Now, at the top left, it gives you that little thing telling you what planet you've come into the atmosphere on. So go into your settings, you know, the X menu, go to the little gear. You'll notice one of the first things comes up is the search for nearby trading. Um, just choose number one on the menu, trade outpost. There you go, trading post detected. And it will move in the direction you need to go. And there it is, over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out into the outer atmosphere real quick. We're going to take a boost there. This seems to be, this is taking a while, I know. I know this is like, it seems like we're wasting time, but it's going to have you do this later. You might as well do it now while you have a chance. Because everything starts moving along a little too quickly later. So try to do this early on. Get your two Viking daggers early. Trading post, there's your landing platform. Coming in for a landing. Okay. Exit. Oh, we're going to stay in the ship until other ships land. The ships that come into these landing platforms land quicker than on the space station. See? Right there. So we're going to exit the ship. We're going to go to our first guy over here. They always appear on the left side of the ship, but there's some items over here I'm going to try to pick up. Life support gel. Nice. And there. Guard, what do you have for us? And we trade, and you'll notice, there it is, Viking Daggers. He's got four of them, we just need two. One, two, we grab it all. But you know what, they have other things, like this guy has frost crystals and cactus flesh. Grab it. Grab it while you're here. You need it for later. 
when you are doing some other missions and stuff like that, you're going to need this. So grab as much as you can. And since I'm here, I'm going to go up to the other platform and I'm going to hit some of the pilots up there as well. So while I can and while the weather is pretty decent, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Uh, let's see. Let's hit the hauler first. Uh, let's see. He has gamma root, so that's really handy. We don't need the pugnium or the silver, so we're good there. So let's go ahead and exit and hit one of the other guys that have all taken off and they're all gone. Great. Except for the guy down there. We've already talked to him. Okay. Let's hit the trade terminal here just to see if there's anything in it. You notice that the amounts of the items in here, the, amount, the quantities they have are really low. This is a low economy system, so they don't really have anything we can use. So now we're just going to wait for another ship to land. And yeah, I'm taking my time doing this, and you'll see ships are just coming in repeatedly. Sometimes there's a delay in between waves of ships, but... Yeah, see this one coming in is another hauler, and we got... Uh, shuttle over there. Let's just go ahead and hit the hauler. I don't see anything else landing at the moment, so. There we go. And there he is. I don't want to call on my ship. Thank you. And what does he have? He has fungal mold, so we'll grab the fungal mold. Sigil goop pugnium, we don't really need those. And I think we're going to hit one more. I think it is... Let's go to the other platform. We've got a fighter over there and another shuttle. Let's hit the fighter. Nope, did he take off? Oh, nope, nope, there he is, right there. And what does he have? Uh, frost crystals and fungal mold. Let's grab it both any, anyway. I think we have some of that already, but still, the more we get, the better. Can we hit this guy real quick? Or did he jump in a ship? He jumped in a ship already. All right, so he's taking off. All right, and we got a blizzard coming in, so I guess that means we're done here. Let's go ahead and jump in our ship and get out. All right, so we're done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head up to the space station. We're going to take the portal back to our base. Can't wait for it to show up. There it is. And it should only take us a moment to get there because it was really close to this planet. And thunk. There we go. I like how the sun is behind that planet in the background. That's really nice. And off we go. All right, nothing to trade, just go straight to the portal, station terminus, if you will, and we're going to head back to the Alpha Base. Off we go. And how long it takes? I'm actually looking at the time this time, 37 seconds. Let's see how long it takes. Because it's a different system and everything like that. It's not like we're going from the space station in our own current system to our base. So I want to see how long it takes. So far, 15 seconds at least. 20. Wow. Sure does take a while. I'm guessing it's because my computer's a little slower than most. Wow, 30 seconds. Good grief. Huh? 35. Wow. 38 seconds, 39 seconds, something like that. That's ridiculous. All right. So now that we're back here, we're going to head over to our ship. Um, oh, before we do, we're going to hit our cargo container. Yes. Storage container, pardon me. And we're going to dump all these things into our storage container that we just collected. Uh, we're going to keep that because we've got to sell it. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, let's see, pure ferrite. We're going to keep the Viking daggers. Uh, oh, yeah, that goes in there. Good. And the pugnium. Is... I'm going to put it in my... I'll leave it in my inventory, whatever. It's not a big deal. So the frost crystals, the gamma root, fungal mold, mold, and all that other stuff has gone in there. And we can have that for later. All right. Taking off. Heading to the depot it wants me to take out. Now these depots, if you come across them before you get to this point in your missions, do not do anything to them. Leave them alone because you will most likely find one close to your where you've set up your base and if you take them out early it may send you to the same one if it's destroyed already you break the mission and you're stuck and you got to find another one on your own then and it's a pain in the neck to find these things especially on a paradise planet 
So, and the only way you can break, you can take them out is on foot. If you try to do it with your ship, it won't count. At least that's my experience. I don't know if they've changed that, but it's been in my experience. So our weapons are ready to go. Everything's ready. You are going to attract them, but we're going to kill two birds with one stone here. Let's get all the items from around the boxes, around the, uh, the save point real fast, including some navigation data. Nihilab station. All right, here we go. We're going to take out all five of these little storage balls here. And you can only do it with your gun. But one's down, and we've attracted their attention. We have some dirty bronze. Two's down. Magna gold. Three's down. Extra magna gold. Four is sulfurine. And five. Oh, no, we got radon, sulfurine, and some platinum. Okay, so we're going to head into the water that's near here. Easier to get away. And if we can go down a little bit deeper. Remember I've been telling you about scanning animals on this planet. We've scanned four, I believe, at this point. So as we look around, let's go ahead and scan some of the biologics. There's five. Oh, some bunches over there that just popped up. Let's run over there. Should be able to get them scanned in just a second here. Nope, there we go. Six. And we need one more. Oh, there's one little guy down there. I think we can... Hold on. There we go. Right there. Seven. So that's seven of them we've gotten. And guess what? Sentinel Force just deactivated. So we're all done. All right, good. And if we go into our menu, we're going to go into that in just a minute. We just got to check. Here we go. Discoveries, fauna. You got seven of them so far. The last one's underground. And it looks like we get quite a bit of nanites for discovering all of them. So... We'll do that later. All right, we're going to head up to this mini island over here because it looks like it's just enough close to the surface that we can stand on it. There we go. We can get a running start. Ooh, we got a bigger island right here, so let's get a boost up to it. There we go. And we're going to run across it. Where's my ship? Over there. I decided to look for something. I don't know why, but I was looking for something, and then I lost my ship again. Where ship? Where ship? Their ship. Okay, good. Off we go. And if you get a running start at the water and hit the water at a good speed, you will can maintain that speed for quite a distance underwater, and you won't have to use your jetpack. So it's a very efficient means of getting where you want to go. There you go. Okay, we're back in our ship. Depot destroyed, and we're going to head back. Okay, now if you're looking at the time, you're realizing that the recording's over an hour at this point, and I was contemplating shutting down the recording and saying we're done, we'll come back to it, but you know what? I decided against it. Kind of regretting it a little bit because I had to re-record the audio, but you know, there you are. See how we came out of a ship facing the building? Really nice, huh? All right. I'm not sure what I'm scanning here. I don't quite remember. It's not important. Well, let's go in the building and complete our mission. Guard Gawa. I have detected them. Their eye is upon us. You have done it. You haven't you. Your actions have summoned them. Confirm. I'm sorry, Interloper. I will not be able to assist you in your fight. I am too weak. Take this upgrade module and prepare for their arrival. So we got a plasma launcher from them. We need an amino chamber and a hermetic seal. We already have the wiring loom. Good. We'll be doing that. Don't worry. Uh, they approach. But before the final fight, I have another task for you. I need to be strong to serve you. There is a substance an offering freely given by the young to their elders that may re yet restore me. I myself spent years enmeshed within the harvest circuits, my organs sacrificing their enzymes for the fleet. I was glad to do so, but we need not repeat such torment today. Enzyme remnants found on Viking daggers should be enough to heal me now. See? Told you we need them. Whatever sacrifice guard Gawa made for others, they do not appear to have reaped the same benefits in their old age. The Vikings' bodies scarred, their speech labored. I cannot imagine they will survive another year. The armor requires Viking daggers to prevent their further decline. Accept the request. Viking appears to relieve. They say nothing, but there is a look of hope behind their tired eyes. Well, guess what? We're supposed to get two Viking daggers. Guess what? We already got them. But while we're waiting, let's go ahead and install... The plasma launcher shall we that makes some room for it we're going to put it up here so we already have the wiring loom so let's go ahead and install it and put the wiring loom in we can make 
the hermetic seal, but we need to buy the amino chamber. So let's make the hermetic seal real quick. We have plenty of resources to do it with. We'll just go ahead and do it. Uh, we'll put that in. Okay. And we're done here. And you know what? Before we do so, let's go ahead and talk to the guard one more time. I have not been idle in your absence, Interloper. I have crafted another upgrade module for your ship, but the daggers, I can smell the battle enzyme from across the room. Give them to me. Give them the egg. The Viking takes the dagger and plunges it into their own arm. They immediately revive. Their spirits restored. We've got a cadmium drive for our ship, which is really cool. That'll get us to new systems. Now we are ready, Interloper. The Sentinels are here. You shall have head out to meet them. The day shall be glorious, Traveler, as it has been before and shall be again. The Viking looks at me with pride. I seem to have provided them with renewed purpose. Of this, I am glad. But placing my world under threat, getting me to summon so many Sentinels for pointless battle. When I'm back, I will need to speak to the Armorer about the future. The Armorer warns me that multiple Sentinel forces have arrived near our home. I must defeat them. Except, gra, 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 gra. And we get access to weapons for our ship, including this Infernife Accelerator, which you know we're going to be installing. It's a fabulous weapon. We don't get the Q Resonator, if I'm not mistaken, so we may have to go up to the station and get it. Okay, so... Don't know why I'm looking at my ship right now. Oh, for the Cadmium Drive, right. We have the means to install it, so we're going to go ahead and do that. That'll get us access to new systems, but... It will only increase our hyperdrive just a little bit, like 20 light years or something like that. It's not much. But we can upgrade. Once we get the B class and the A class and the S class, we'll, we'll remove the old ones. We don't need to keep them. All right, so we're in here. We need to head to the guy behind the desk inside our minor settlement. He should contain what we're looking for. Purchase components. There it is, amino chamber. Okay, he had two. We we'll just need one. Go to our multi-tool, finish installing our plasma launcher, which I found in one of our expeditions was really, really handy. You just got to be careful that the plasma ball does not hit you, because it will kill you. Okay, and I don't know what I'm going back in for. Hold on. Okay, yep, nothing more to do. So Sentinel Forces says it's deactivated, but that's okay. We're going to be doing some more there. While we're here, I'm just checking in here if we need to get any. I'm going to get some 5 Plasma. Unstable Plasma. I can make it myself, but I've got the money. I'm just going to buy it. That way I have some recharges. All right, we are all set and ready to go. Let's go fight some Sentinels. And there's our first contestant, and we took him out. So this battle is just going to be a plain ordinary battle. Um, see, Plasma Launcher does some decent damage, and it's very handy to, to use when you need it. Uh, when you're fighting Sentinels, for those who don't know, taking out these summoners is very, very important unless you want to extend the battle in some way. The second item you want to do is the, the healers. It's the healers first and then the summoner. Take out the healers first, then take out the summoner, because they, they heal as you're trying to fight other um, others of these guys. Most of these guys fight like stormtroopers, so they, they're, their lasers are all over the place. So don't worry about that too much. You also want to get to an area you can fight from that is worth it to you. I wanted to get on top of my building, but I lost the charge of my jetpack. So there they go, and they're going to head to the last place you were, but they'll always appear in the direction you're facing. So you see what happens when I took out the summoner? The healer was healing them. So better to take out the healers when you can. Take them out first if you can. The shields that they put up are handy because they also protect you against fire from them as well, depending upon which side you're on. Gather up the green barrels and it will restore some of your shield and heal you a little bit. If you lose one of the plus signs at the top left, you will get one of the plus signs back for every barrel you pick up. See, I'm fully healed now. But you're going to see that I'm not um, as powerful as I am in my other saves. So it makes it very difficult to fight these guys. All right, back up to the building where I want to be, and I'm going to face in this direction this time. And this time we get a quad. And I agree with, and I'm trying to take out the summoner first, and it's a pain in the neck. 
because he keeps getting healed as I'm taking him out, which is using more ammunition than I really should have to. There we go. And the quad just showed up over the hill with another summoner and two healers. And you want to take out these guys too, but I'm trying to take out the summoner. I should have taken out one of the fighters first. And the summoner goes behind the shield, and you see my shields are dropping bad now. If I can take him out, there we go. We took him out before he was able to summon, but at what price? See my shields are dropping? Got a healer. Got the second one, but guess what? Damaged. Shield down. And that laser, if it continues on you, you will die fast. So I'm going someplace where I can prevent getting damaged. I just lost one of my pluses as well. So I'm trying to decide what to do here. I've already got my, my weapons are ready to go. There's really nothing more to do. If I can get to one of the green barrels, I'm in good shape. So I'm trying to take some time. But they've detected me. There we go. There we go. Get that green barrel. Ooh, I just got hit again. Shields restored. I didn't get my plus back. I've got to get... I gotta get fully charged before I'll get my plus sign back. So let's see what I got here. That's damaged, and there's nothing I can do about it, but nothing else appeared to be damaged. So we're in better shape than I thought. The only um, entity that's still here on the fighting field here is just the quad. So, and he's kind of glitching in and out of my base, so you can see him shooting from inside the base and shooting the uh, roof. It's not hurting me, but I can't do anything to him either. But I'm waiting for my shield to recharge. There it goes. All right, so we got a fully recharged shield to fight him with. So I'm going to head out a little ways away and see if I can draw him out. Still in the base. You'll see the red dot in a second. Oh, there he is. There he is. You see him at the edge in the corner there? There he goes. Okay. That laser hurts, and he goes into camouflage mode, and you can't see him. If you didn't do enough damage, you won't see the thing over his head. I have no idea where he is. I think he's to my right. Oh, there he is. And just keep moving to the side, and usually he can't do anything to you. He can't quite get the laser to attach on you because he went back inside my base. There he goes. He's on the other side. Fortunately, no healers. Healers can heal these guys fast, so be careful. The quads also like to charge at you and do more damage that way. They stun you and damage you. He's to the right, and I don't realize it at this point. There we go. I just realized he's on the other side of my ship. So we're going to go around the ship, and he's now got the laser shooting in the direction I'm not, so we just about got him. There we go. Gone. That heals you quite a bit, and it should have restored my health too, so I should have gotten one of my pluses back. We do want to try to fix our exosuit, but we'll do it later. Let's add this in and give some more damage to our weapons. And we're going to put this in for life support. Oops. Okay. Now, I haven't learned yet to take out the healers first, but that's okay. There we go. Healers are gone. We now have a quad with another summoner. Apartment oh, quad. We got a, We have a mech with a summoner. We're trying to take out the summoner, but he's being healed. I still haven't figured this out yet. I'm trying to launch those things, and they keep putting shields up. Uh, I'm not going to be able to take him before he summons two more lovely sentinels. I don't know why I never took out the healers. I should have just taken them out first. And we got to get moving soon. So this is an, a, a situation where I'm going to start running a little bit because you see my health is back down again. My shield is. And this guy's launching these things are killing me. Let's grab this here. Just as my shield went out, I re-established it a little bit. This guy launches those, which are going to hurt. And I need to take these guys out. So I need to keep moving now. That's what I'm going to be doing. It's time. Pick that up, get a little more shield, reload, keep moving. Strafe. Get that one. Okay, he landed behind me. we got to take out all these guns. We'll worry about the mech later. Take out the, the wandering guns, because if you stay stationary, they just take you out. There we go, another one's gone. All right, that's everybody but the mech. All right, so now we can work on the mech. 
Now, once you get a really well upgraded multi tool, like even an, an A class or an S class, it really comes in handy. So this guy's doing some damage to me. We don't want to get too close because he has a flamethrower that really hurts us bad. All right, I think we got him finally. Oop, there we go, got him. All right, and the purple ones really heal us quite a bit, as you can see. All right, last battle, last stage, phase five, we're going to actually get a two-legged sentinel walker. So we want to just stay right here for a moment, let them approach from this direction. Same process, except this time I'm going to take out the healers, because I'm finally learning my lesson. There's one gone. They haven't found me yet. They're just figuring out that I'm right here. Got the second healer gone. We're going to take out the su summoner. Now they figured out where I was. There's a summoner. That drops in one of our mechs again. It'll bring in another summoner. Ouch, ouch. And I'm going to head in the store, but the door keeps closing on me. It's really weird. So they can't see me in here for the most part. So I'm going to take these guys out now. There we go. And as we take them out, now we got a Sentinel Walker to deal with. See, he can't quite see me. So we're just going to keep shooting. But unfortunately, these uh, healers that have reappeared are going to heal him up faster than I can take him out. So I need to take out the, the healers. And with the Walker running around out there, it's a pain in the neck. And everybody's standing in the doorway. Okay, the Walker just kicked him out of the way. The two-legged. Okay, healer gone. Another healer. Let's take him out. We need to get rid of the summoner. There's one more summoner out there that's going to keep summoning these guys. But to do that, I've got to take some of these guys out. I'm trying to get a bead on him, but I can't because the walker, the two-legged walker, is in the way. There's the summoner. Gone. Okay. So now we can get some work done. There is a healer over there. But I can't reach him from here. He's stuck, so we should be okay. So I'm going to start working on the two-legged walker next. Now he can see us because we're in the doorway. So the mech is, is pretty good at that. We're going to keep working on the legs of the two-legged walker. You don't have to take him out, but when you do that, it stuns them, and it gives you an opportunity to take some other stuff out. And you want to bring their shields down. So the blue line at the top is their shield. And see, I can't quite, yeah, I don't have the right angle. The rest of the armor is on the other side of his head. So we're going to try to take out the other leg. There we go, and stun him one more time. This should be able to allow me to take out his, there we go. He's now completely um, vulnerable to me. His shields will not recharge. There we go. We're going to see if we can take out the mech next. Ooh, flames. Isn't that fun? So recharge. In and out. He just got kicked a little bit by the other one. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right. Looks like our mech is just about done. We're going to have to exit here to get to him. And soon the two-legged walker is going to go nuts. He's just going to start wandering around in circles and he's not going to stop. They've dug a hole underneath my building here, and I'm having trouble getting out of it. There we go. And those things hurt from that walker. This guy's just about done. We've got to take him out. There we go. We're done. Let's work on the walker now, the two-legged. And you see, we're bringing him down little by little, and the healers will not come out here and heal him. Even if the healers were around, they would not heal the two-legged walker. It's all you now. I'm trying to launch plasma balls at this guy, but... He's in, the, he's in the I'm gone crazy stage, and he doesn't know what to do. He's just wandering around in circles, as you can see, so trying to hit him is ridiculous. That's why we take out the legs sometimes and then just sit there and pummel him when we can. Plasma will do a good amount of damage and start doing damage over time, as you can see, so they're kind of handy to have. And you see the, the red bar is dropping rapidly now. So we're just about done with this fight. And I really, really wanted to get this one because this gives me Walker Brain, which will be very handy for a combat uh, scanner. Conflict. Conflict scanner. Done. But you notice it says they're searching, right? 
So you want to hit the E button when you get close to the walker brain and then shoot it a second time for a second walker brain. So now you got two of them. Uh, why is it doing this? Because of this guy over here. He's stuck and he can't find me. And you want to take him out quickly because it will keep this going and perpetuating it. There he is. He's stuck inside my base. There we go. And that disables the network. There you go. Sentinel's disabled. We're going to pick up that one last barrel we left behind. Purple one, I believe. And we're going to fill in some of these holes they made. Oh, that was so annoying. I had to do this because, uh, especially that hole in front of the doorway, that would get really annoying. So we're filling this in. It was underneath the platform there, and I still fell into it. So I think I've got it. And there's our combat supplies, and you see we're getting the rewards, the target and anomaly, destroyed 10 sentinels. That's going to go for a little bit. And we also, I didn't mention this in my original broadcast when I first recorded this, but you'll notice at the top right, it's showing that the hive. We can go to the hive now and discover another multi-tool, as well as disable them on that planet if it's on another planet. And we get some extra items from it, so that's going to be handy. Yeah, I'm still cleaning up the mess. That still thinks it's not right. Okay, there we go. All right, I think we're good. Undying destroyed 40 sentinels. So, I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. All right, so we've completed this out, and that is done. So it's time to fix things. We have no more of those combat supplies laying around anywhere. We picked them all up. So right now, we are going to go ahead and open up the salvage glass. I was going to save it and duplicate it, but that's okay. I'm going to take this. Uh, health one and put it up there. It's time to fig fix my uh, damaged piece that was in my inventory. It needs a carbon nanotube. There we go. That's now fixed again. Okay, so we're back to that. Um, and we did get a weapons shard. We already have three. We're going to go ahead and try it out anyway and to see if it's better than the ones we have. These two are good. This one is okay. That one's even worse than the other one. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of the new one we just added. And we get items from it, so, you know, it still works out. Get some more Pugnium and stuff. We got a lot of items in our inventory, including those Walker Brains, that I'm really happy to get. That's great. So let's head over to our cargo container. There it is. And we're going to put this stuff away. There we go. And again, sorry about the no audio from the game itself. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Magnetic resonator we're going to put in our ship. Quad servo we'll hang on to. We're hanging on to a lot of these things. They're valuable, but let's hang on to them because you might need them later on for missions and everything else under the sun. So we might as well have something of them. And the pugnium we'll leave in our own inventory for now. That's going to go in our ship. We'll put that in our ship. That's a magnetic resonator. And the pugnium we put in our ship as well. All right, good. So we've got all of our inventory cleaned up. Let's go to our Viking guard, Gawa. You survived where Herc fell, Traveler. Forgive me, I was wrong. My whole life I was wrong. It is not the dead that deserve our service. It is the living. It is you, Traveler. It is you and you alone. The Viking promises not to cause any more trouble for the base, apologizing profusely, telling me that the living deserve service more than the dead, that I especially am worthy of their aid. The armorer rewards me with a token of my great victory. Accept the reward. It has been an honor to serve you, Traveler. Go on in glory. He gave me a combat scope, which is really, really handy, just to say. Gra, Traveler, I've been inspired by your actions to craft a multi-tool great power. Would you please take a look at it? I usually do, and I'm like, eh, whatever, I'll take a look at it. Looks like my video is having trouble now, too. And it's an A-class one, which is very handy, and it has an optical drill in it. So I decided to go ahead and keep this one. Plus, it has a combat scope already. Yay! So, we're going to go ahead and take that. Take it for free. There we go. Okay, good. So we've got some stuff. Um, let's go, okay, not to our exosuit. Go to the multi-tool. We're going to uninstall the optical drill. And we're going to uninstall the combat scope. And there was one more thing. Was there one more thing in there we're going to take? Oh, we're going to take the bolt caster out of it because we can use it in other... Yeah, go back in there. We can use it in other things that we have. So, you know, later on. So it's good to have that as a weapon if you need to add it to a multi-tool that didn't have it. Okay, so we're good. So we're going to switch back to our other multi-tool real quick here. 
There we go, and we're going to install our combat scope. It doesn't have to go anywhere in particular. You can put it anywhere. I'm just going to drop it up there real quick. Um, and then let's go back and grab our optical drill. Drop that in. There we go. That's going to be really handy. That increases the yield you get from mining things, so that's really, really a nice thing to have. Okay, so that should do it for us. Um, in the log, it looks like the next thing is the scientific research. We'll do that next. The warrior is done. We'll come back later and take care of the scientist and get him all resolved. Uh, let's jump in and out of our ship for a save point. There we go. Restore point saved. And that's it. So I want to thank you all for watching this video. I'm sorry about the audio getting all screwed up like that, but hopefully the voiceover wasn't too terrible. Um, Please like and subscribe, as I always like to say, especially if you've been liking what you've been seeing. And by all means, if you want to join the channel, go ahead. But here we go. A wave goodbye. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.